It's a solemn ceremony, a moment of grief for all those present here. You have the Justice Minister Nicole Belloubet, the Interior Minister Christophe Castaner, the Mayor of Paris, Anne Hidalgo, but uh, of course you have the families of the victims who are here, who are uh, just behind me outside the former headquarters of Charlie Hebdo, the sat satirical uh, magazine that came under attack exactly five uh, years ago when the Kouachi brothers, uh, the gunmen, stormed in and killed those cartoonists, those uh, journalists present in these offices on that uh, morning of uh, January uh, 7th. So this is one of the events commemorating uh, those attacks. There will be other events later on, notably in the nearby uh, Boulevard Richard Lenoir, where a policeman was uh, shot down uh, by the Kouachi brothers. And then there will be also another uh, moment important outside the kosher supermarket, Borde de Vincennes, which is a bit further away, just on the outskirts of Paris. This is a moment that is extremely important, of course, for the families and for France as a whole, a moment for the nation to come together, uh, also to show that uh, these, this tragedy, these dramatic events will never be forgotten. And as we, as I speak, uh, you might be able to hear behind me the uh, Marseillaise, the French national anthem being performed. Uh, again, the sign that the French nation is paying tribute to those fallen in that terrorist attack. Clovis, tell us a bit more about the legacy of the satirical magazine Charlie Hebdo. Today, five years after that, that attack and the outpouring of support across France for press freedom. Well, for the Charlie Hebdo uh, journalists, those who survived the attack, notably Ries, who's now the uh, head of the uh, satirical magazine, well, this is important to show that uh, no one will ever be able to kill, to destroy Charlie Hebdo. That was the will, of course, of those uh, terrorists uh, who wanted, as they said, uh, to take revenge for uh, those caricatures of uh, the Prophet uh, Mahomet. Well, for Charlie Hebdo, it's important to show that the freedom of the press will always be defended. Freedom of speech also, the right to criticise all religions, all politicians, and that's exactly what Charlie Hebdo is standing for. Uh, shortly after the attack five years ago, maybe an hour after the attack, well, you had this slogan, Je suis Charlie, that appeared on social networks that very much became a slogan across uh, France. Shortly after the attack also, you had spontaneously hundreds, thousands of people heading to the Place de la République, uh, waving pens, waving banners, uh, reading Je suis Charlie, showing that the French people were standing behind uh, those journalists. People who not necessarily read Charlie Hebdo or who supported all that Charlie Hebdo uh, said or did, but who wanted to show that they stood by Charlie Hebdo in these uh, dramatic events, show that the freedom of the press needed to be defended, of course, by all means. And, of course, you had a few days later that incredible uh, march in Paris, more than a million people coming together, heads of state from across the world turning up to show uh, their support, a million and a half in Paris, millions also across uh, the nation uh, and of course uh, to show that they were behind uh, the Charlie Hebdo cartoonists, those fallen in that terrorist attack.